Hey there, and welcome to Throw Up Thursday. I'm your host, Dr. J.J. Kelly, the punk rock doc. Well, hi, and welcome to Throw Up Thursday, where you come barf your problems, and then you leave feeling better. I'm Dr. J.J. Kelly, the punk rock doc, and I will be joined very, oh, real quickly, at Unorthodox Inc., Olivia Hoffman. I wish I could just go like this. And- yeah! Hello! <laughs> no, Hi no clicks? No clicks! Hooray. Manifested it. <laughs> you know what's going to replace the clicks is this um, crow way too close to me <laughs> <laughs> talking. Oh! And don't touch the phone. It falls. I'm a, the queen of that. <laughs> Hi Astrid, welcome. Hi Astrid, how are you doing? I'm a little tired, a little worn out. Mm-hmm. Lots of lots of tension in the air this week. I think <sighs> this is our last one before the election. Mm-hmm. I don't want to dwell on the stress of that, but no. you, you voted, right? I have voted. Oh, yeah. You voted last week, the same day I did. (laughs) I'm just going to put my case on because it will not stand still. Okay. Okay. And you think that's going to add the clicking then? I don't know. I just was like, let's try something different. But it seems fine. All right. Seems fine to me, too. You're making (laughs) me look look tech savvy over here. (laughs) That was the plan all along, honestly. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. So, um, I talked to Mal earlier today, and she said she was, uh, remember she, you read her question before she showed up last time? Yeah. yeah. She said she might show up today and have uh, new questions and was going to go back and listen to the answer. But okay. <laughs> yes. So, what do you got? For today. Well, I got a question from Astrid, and Astrid oh. is here. Oh, right. Like, ro- like, wrote it just now? I texted her yesterday and asked if she had one. So, so this is Astrid's question. Um, I'm feeling burnt out in the middle of midterms in the semester. What are some tips for balancing self-care and being patient with myself during a pandemic without getting really apathetic ragdoll? God, yeah. Well, that's a funny one coming from Astrid, too, because could you ever imagine Astrid, like, blowing off midterms or something like that? Give me a break. No. So, for somebody that's, like, st- like anxious, I-, I just always think if you're that conscientious in academically, then you don't have to stress out. Like, if you blew stuff off from time to time, <laughs> that's when you stress out someone's so conscientious like just do the work and even do it at like 65 Mm percent you're still gonna be fine I think for someone like Astrid in particular I mean it's I'm lucky to know her um just just pull it back hey Sam hey Allie pull it back pull all the pressure back and you are going to naturally rise to the surface Mm -hmm. more sleep more water has got to be on the docket too i mean even if you're going to shelve uh exercise which i don't suggest but if you are going to shelve that during midterms then at least do the extra sleep extra water i am not worried about astrid becoming apathetic um I do from time to time worry about people that stress and work really hard about burnout. Um, And I think burnout is mostly about, um, you know, whatever the gremlins saying, Mm -hmm. you should, should, should be doing like check your shoulds a little bit and see if you're shaming yourself on top of being anxious. Just deal with the fear, dude. Mm-hmm. Don't shame yourself on top of it. I'm, sh- And this is the thing is I know those grades are going to come back and they're going to be awesome. So come on, look at your past record a little bit there. <laughs> you know. Come on. Um, yeah. If if she has follow-ups, she may, the inner tyrant, yeah. She <laughs> may certainly add something, but 
that's my answer. Do you want to add something, Olivia? Well, yeah, I used to do the same thing when I was in school. You did. And I would do the thing where I knew that I, I would be like, okay, I'm going to take the day off from studying because I knew that I didn't need to study. Yeah. But then I would let my gremlin shame me the entire day that I made a choice, which is just like, if you're going to give your, if you're going to like trust yourself, trust yourself all the way. Don't beat yourself up for taking the time off because you know you don't need to study. Like, it's such a vicious cycle and it's so like self harmy and so foreign to me. Dude, in undergrad, and every, I every can semester blow I stuff would off. <laughs> every semester I would be like, oh, I actually, I think I failed. I think I failed this time. And then I, the next week I'd be like, oh, I got an A. Like every That's single the time. the most annoying kind of student to deal with right there. <laughs> Plus, you know, undergrad is supposed to be about blowing stuff off and jackassing it around a little bit and not thinking about it till it's like right there again. <laughs> I mean, a little of that is supposed to be going on in undergrad. It's supposed to be like just having fun at the expense of your studies mm -hmm. from time to time. But you guys, you're so conscientious. You've got it all so, like, down to a science mm -hmm. that you can blow off a day and it ha not have it affect your GPA. But you don't, which makes me want to <laughs> choke you all. Oh, my gosh. That's just doing too much in the stress department. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, there's Megan weighing in there, too. <laughs> I think that's the thing that, like, all of the docs do where we, like, know our skill sets and we know what we can do, but then also do the, like, half foot thing, half one foot in thing. Is that what you want to call it? I think it's, um, you guys are a little more anxious. I think it's, a, it's either generational and mm. or it's regional. I mean, I mm. personally cannot relate to any of you guys on this topic. <laughs> and, you know, we can bridge the gap and relate on some overlap on most things, mm -hmm. despite the age difference between us. Um, but maybe the regional difference, we can, we have had more trouble bridging that gap because I'm just like, <laughs> what are you doing? Taking yourself that seriously. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's just, and you guys are all such high achievers too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it makes my job fun because I get to teach you guys how to be a jackass and, you know, yeah. just <laughs> get over yourself and have fun, which by the way, I would say you do real, real well. Yeah. So bravo yeah. on that. Cause that, if that's not a stress reliever, you know, being able to like laugh at yourself and like, I don't know, not worry about being perceived as the jackass. I think that's mm -hmm. a huge stress reliever right there. And Absolutely. we do that every Friday. It feels on wheels anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a good time. Yeah. All right. All right. What else you got there? Okay. Um, all right. So I have one. Um, so I my dreams have just been all over the place. But I've been oh, same. having so many dreams where I'm like back in Vancouver working at my old job and so many dreams where I'm like interacting with people I used to moving back into my old apartment and it's really starting to mm -hmm. like affect my day-to-day -day life because it's happening so frequently and it's so vivid is there like anything is there I guess my question is like why do you think that is happening and what are ways to like give myself what I need because I don't think it's that I want to move back there no, God, no. Um, right. Two, two clarifying questions. One is, um, what exactly do you mean that it's affecting, it's beginning to affect your daily life? It's when I wake up, I mean, I guess it's like, I'm, I'm allowing, I'm just, I've been feeling very like nostalgic lately. And yeah. then I wake up with like kind of a heart hurting of like missing specifics of Vancouver. And I think it's more like missing my life. Um, that I had an established life that now looking back from like a year in the future seems like rose tinted glasses kind of thing. And I well, think it's my just... doesn't any <laughs> moment in time seem better than right. <laughs> yeah, but I've never had it this 
specific to like my job, me doing like the exact same, like it's so, I don't know what it's about. Well, I do think, uh, I do think um, fall, I mean, you know, like October is a grieving month, anniversary mm -hmm. month for me, uh, but, but I do think fall has that nostalgia quality for like us as human animals thing. I do mm -hmm. think there's, there's sort of a, um, a tendency to reflect a little bit in fall mm -hmm. as we like power down or, you know, are meant to physically power down for winter. But mm -hmm. my second follow-up question to you was going to be, what do you think? I think, I think there's something about the unknowing like how everything right now is very unknown and uncertain yeah. and so I had like a routine and it felt um solid and it was very much mine and the mm -hmm. things that I'm missing the most are like the grocery store I went to and like walking around my old neighborhood and like taking the bus so like very simple things oh the pedestrian things of life the ordinary yeah and yeah. the air, I miss the sea. Like, it's like all things that I've grown to know very clearly. And now it's just like, I don't know yeah. what is going on. And life is different. So I think it's just like missing yeah. the norm. Everybody's dreams, by the way, are crazy vivid right now. <laughs> and I got to think that that's like just the stress. It's a, but also... um. The grieving, we've talked a lot about grieving, like grieving mm -hmm. our freedoms and grieving what used to be and that kind of thing. I mean, that kind of butts up against nostalgia also. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I mean, I, when I, I, with dreams, I mean, shrinks go crazy about the dream thing. <laughs> but you know that I've already been, uh, you know, in our work together, first of all, your dreams are so informative so I, love I know that so that's asking. why I was like is there something that I need to inspect but I don't think I mean there's something because your dreams yeah. are always telling you something you specifically um but I don't know that I would have the answer to that mm -hmm. I mean and as well as I know you I can take educated guesses and mm -hmm. sometimes I get like just intuitive hits like I don't know where those kinds of things come from, but I end up thinking in general that you ask the dreamer what they think. Mm -hmm. And it's funny how quickly you and other people have come up with an answer really fast when I ask that question, but it's almost like you got to be asked. Yeah. Because I don't know why that is. We we don't ask ourselves, like, what does that mean? Or we just roll it around a million times in our heads. But there's something about someone asking that, I don't know, prompts it. Prompts it mm -hmm. in a way that seems novel to the brain in some way. Yeah. I yeah. think it's like when I say something out loud, that's when I start to, because normally I think things over and over again. But if I don't say it out loud, then I don't really hear it. Or you don't get that like body click where you know what's real and what's not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Megan said her dreams are gone. I would wonder if that has something to do with pregnancy. Oh, yeah. I wonder. I don't know. Um, There's but another I little thing dreaming in there. So they're taking over the dream. People love the dream talk, dude. I, paging Dr. Freud, you know. <laughs> I think that it the general answer to dreams is your unconscious is trying to tell you something. Mm -hmm. And I do like the writing it down. I do. I do like um, if you can lucid dream to address the issue right then and there in the dream. Um, if you can, I do think that because it's happening in your brain, that could have actual results in waking life. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know play around with it the last thing you want to do is be like what the hell does that mean and like pressure yourself even more to find the answer just play around you know yeah. with the possibilities and it will come mm -hmm. something will click thank you mm-hmm
Okay. You're gonna have a big dream tonight, and then okay. we're gonna talk about this tomorrow. I bet it's every night. It's like this like saga dream, and I wake up and I'm like, "All right, what did that one mean? What yeah. did I need to ask myself today?" But and I'm I grateful fun. to have that connection with myself. Well, yeah, yeah. I, you know, I think that I was making fun of you <laughs> about <laughs> affecting your daily life. However, I think that that has something to do with why I'm actually fatigued mm -hmm. during the day is I yeah. think my mind is so active yes. at night. Um, and I just like kind of wake up like, what? So, <laughs> so we can make fun of me too. Is what yeah. <laughs> I think that's just like a thing going on. Like I just, it's, it's very hard to slow my brain down these days. Uh -huh. And I'm trying to just to like roll. I've been feeling very silly and like goofy and like getting these sudden bursts of like kind of manic energy where I just need to like sing very loudly. I was like scatting for 15 minutes yesterday. Like, <laughs> oh, I need a video of that. I'm I took a video. So I will show you. <laughs> but it's like, I think right now it's like ride the wave of like yeah. what the hell you got to yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah, and don't go gripping for answers. Just ride. We'll figure it out later. I think right now we're just all <laughs> doing our best. Yeah, and <laughs> and remember, like, give yourself pats on the back for doing your best because, Jesus, it's probably as good <laughs> as it gets right now, you know? <laughs> like, you know, playing together, I enjoy this. I enjoy our Friday stuff. I enjoy mm -hmm. my Saturday stuff. You know, like... Just being able to be in the moment at all is where it's at right now. Yeah, forget yeah. the analysis. Hell yeah. I mean, it. forget the analysis. The brain is just so on overdrive. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Um, I'm going to admit something, too. I've got a little magical thinking going on these oh, days yeah? over the last, I'd say, week. Um, somehow, I think now, okay, I don't actually think this, but I don't <laughs> not either. Just say it. <laughs> I started like deciding to self medicate with watching the West Wing. <laughs> and because <laughs> that makes me, you know, <laughs> that, one, that makes me, um, like, uh, regardless of what anyone's political beliefs are, I love our country. I consider myself a patriot. And now I don't say that, and people don't necessarily think of me that way however living in other places I think has it really can connect you with what's so great about our country Definitely. so I decided that that puts me in the headspace where I'm like you know I'll cry over like <laughs> you know small never doubt that small groups of concerned citizens can change the <laughs> world because it's all that ever has it's like yes mm -hmm. dude yes and I do believe that as well. I think that that's what we're doing too. And I believe yeah. that passionately. So I sort of got <laughs> on the train that if I w just binge watch the West <laughs> Wing at night, that I would put myself in like the vibration of the election going the way I want. <laughs> Dude, I am on the crazy train. <laughs> So, oh, uh, so you know, <laughs> the whole point, dude. Being, fuck it, whatever. Like, you know, who does that hurt? Seriously, you know, like with that that energy that happens when work is over or the day is over, mm -hmm. day turns into night, and then then it's like, okay, well now what? And if there aren't plans. You know, with other people and social distance and all the fucking requirements that go into it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, maybe. maybe. <laughs> we, we collectively binge watch the West. Is that like, you know, group meditation? Like a witch circle of watching West Wing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let me say this is not recommendation land right now <laughs> at all. It's just an admission to normalize the idea that fucking whatever mm -hmm. works it's not hurting me it's not hurting somebody else yes is it self-medication yeah tv is mm -hmm. um especially if you do it a lot and this is a lot for me but i bet for other people it probably isn't a lot but 
yeah, that, that it just keeps my mind on something other than the, uh, what it mm-hmm. could be. So other than stuff that I can't control. Yeah. So, and allows me to like go to sleep. Yeah. You know, wake up and work like do the things that I love so whatever (laughs) I'm already bored of it so I can I can tell I'm at the end of the cycle which is not good because we have a few days before (laughs) but I kind of love when you let yourself like just be like all right this is gonna be my thing for like a couple for however long it is I'm I think I've like that's like been a thing in quarantine that I've let myself like be like I'm in this and be fully like this is my thing right now and really (laughs) enjoying that and like in like a way that feels like kind of like a little kid you know when they're like obsessed about one thing and it's all they want to talk about with a drop of tantrumy behavior (laughs) but it's sweet it's sweet to allow yourself just to like unabashedly do something and believe in something yeah especially if it doesn't hurt Mm -hmm. anybody including yourself i thank you ali for the reframe (laughs) It's, oh, it's a distress tolerance skill in the distract category. Um, That's not not true because of the temporariness of it. I think the indulgence of it, I'm, oh, my God, I'm, like, this so indulgent. But, I mean, how long has it gone on? Two, three nights? I mean, really? Oh, come on. <laughs> I know. I know. It, But it, it, I can already feel, like, the heaviness of it. I got to, like, move on. Thank yeah. goodness that the, my tolerance <laughs> isn't. I don't know. It's just too much for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, there's my there's my confession for the day. <laughs> Thank you for telling me. Yeah. Sure. Uh-huh. <laughs> Next. Okay. Um. All right. This is a question from Torben. Um. Okay. He said, "To well, I guess I'll just whatever. I'll just do it." Okay. He said, "I noticed that I'm smoking slash drinking more now during the pandemic. Is there anything wrong with that?" Um, Torben, okay, I wish we hadn't said his name, maybe, because I'm <laughs> fucking tearing. Um, that is a bullshit question, first of all, um, which is why, let's just forget that we said a name with it. <laughs> um, this person knows well the answer to that. Um, oh my. Is that a real question even? Well, so when I asked, I was like, I yeah. think we know the answer to that question. That's one of those ones that we know the answer to. And he said that he asked it because he thought it'd be helpful for more people. Oh, horseshit again. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, the thing is, he's not watching this, so he doesn't even know what's coming tomorrow. <laughs> when I see him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah next okay. <laughs> um i was thinking we could talk about some like fun witchy things to do Ooh. with halloween coming up and the full moon oh um, awesome yeah i, like I think we're kind of on the way there with the manifestation but uh. <laughs> yeah yeah well you know whatever i don't know what everybody's into with the moon but you know Women getting together for any reason whatsoever, I find to always be a great time. And if you can, you know, you could read horoscopes or you could do like they, you could Google moon, full moon rituals. It's the second one in October too. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, even people that are like strict into medicine and they don't do any woo, you know, I remember my, my parents, um, when we were little, they both worked in the ER. And if ever they had to work on a full moon, they're like, ah, fuck. <laughs> you know? And, mm-hmm. and nobody has ever really argued that. Hardcore MDs and stuff, they're like, uh, and lunatic, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, there's energy there. I think we can mostly agree on that. Whatever you think, magic or nothing, tides, Everybody knows that there's some sort of energy. So go and play with it. It's on Halloween, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, full moon rituals, uh, crystals and shit, you know? Like, whatever blows your hair back, enjoy it. Um, be safe. I don't want people, you know, just going, you know, the house party thing is probably not a good idea right mm-hmm. now still. So while we all love to party on Halloween... 
yeah, you might want to check in with your values and your protocol before mm-hmm. just going nuts with that kind of a thing. Um, did I see the f- full, the moon is wet? What? They found water on the moon. What? Yeah. <sighs> No, I did not read that. But after we get off, I'm going to go read everything I find on that. Oh, my. Oh, my God. We're so talking about that. We're so so talking about that tomorrow. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. You know, I don't know. I think it's a great time to just check in with yourself Mm -hmm. and play. Play with the holiday of Halloween. Why not? Why not? Definitely. I don't know. What do you, do you have anything you want to add? I've done, I've done a thing before where I like make a cauldron and get like a pot and then let, write down things that I want to let go of from the oh, past. Awesome. Cause usually it's once a month, but I mean, it still works now. It could be like the whole year. Cause it feels like awesome. a cycle is we're like at the end of a cycle right now. I'm getting that. Well, the full moon is that too. Yeah. But But you expand, 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 and then let go is what Mm -hmm. people say. But it seems like there's a lot of, like, the past year that I, maybe that's what my dreams are about, is, like, about, like, there's, like, a something energetically that was from that time that is now coming to, oh, whoa. (laughs) That's not real. I think that's what it is. I think there's, like, a closing of a chapter. All right. (laughs) Nicely done. Yeah, if you back burner that shit and you don't put pressure on it, it comes, right? Yeah, cool. So that's what that's about. That nice is... work. That's, that was a cool thing to just watch happen. <laughs> you know when you're like, oh, I just, that's a yes. soul, like a door within my soul just opened, I felt. Yep. Um, yep. So writing down things that you want to let go of and intentions and then burning them and putting them in the cauldron. Um, safely. Safely with water. Yeah. I put it in a pot. Nice. I love the let any letting go ritual I am into mm-hmm. any time. Yeah. Yep. And it naturally when you like empty out that energy, it naturally flows in like what you're grateful for. You don't mm-hmm. even have to like do it on purpose. It just happens. Yeah. It creates a space for new creativity and just new energy to flow in i love that that's awesome cool cool fun i'm excited i'm excited for the moon me too me too so tomorrow i'm very into tomorrow feels on wheels 2 30 to 4 uh alcatraz and college once again (laughs) nice (laughs) Uh you got a couple surprises are you gonna dress up um yes but what will i be is a mystery to even me. <laughs> okay. All right. I don't think I'm going to like do a costume, but I am going to do my, my Halloween dress. Uh, is Allie wearing that dress? The Halloween dress? I wonder. Um, you know, Torben's going to dress up. Yeah. <laughs> Astrid, are you going to dress up for tomorrow? I hope so. I think we're going to have some of our uh, DBT beginners stop by the young so Yeah, that could be fun. Maybe we'll give her first whack at the. Oh, <laughs> I didn't want to blow the surprise. No, I mean I said nothing. First what? whack at getting advice. Obviously. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's what I was gonna say. Totally, totally. Energetically, we're on the same page. You know, yeah. as per usual. Yeah. Sister. <laughs> Possibly linked, you know. Yes, yes. So <laughs> if you are in the neighborhood of Rockridge, please come see us tomorrow. We're going to have a great time. Uh, I think that's it for me. Yeah, Next I'm... week, we will know a lot more. Uh-huh. And we will be there together. <laughs> yes, we will. Thursday, we will be back here yes. at 4. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Get in touch with me, Dr. J.J. Kelly, the punk rock doc, at drjjkelly.com.